Welcome to my house. I'm Edwin Johnson. I'm an artist and a musician. This is my website, edsartetc.com, and my email address, edsartetc at gmail.com. Okay, first I want to show you some of my uh, not head paintings. Uh, this is one I'm, re I'm, do I'm painting over, you know, because it faded out in the sun. This is called Not Heads at a Party. They're not heads dancing and they're not heads playing music because it's hot. I'm not sure if you can see it real good, but this is not heads at an airport. Top, it's all those knots are the heads of the knot heads, and they're at an airport. Now I'm, I'm going to redo that one too, you know, uh, fortify the colors because of the sun. And these are some smaller knot head paintings here. This is a knot head band, and uh, this is uh, knot heads walking with Jesus. This is knot heads after church. This is the church here with a, a cross over it. Right there. And this is just a knothead family. Okay. Over this way, you'll see on the side of my outhouse there. This is actually come close to the outhouse. It's not a regular house. That's a knothead family. And this is uh, knothead elders in a, in a line right there on top. And this is knothead butterflies. Yeah. And this is, uh, it might be hard to see in the sunshine, but it's space child slash uh, star child slash space monkey. This is a space monkey here. And the star child is, this is the big head of the star child. About two different images in one. And this is the resurrection of John Lennon. You see the seraphim and the cherubim raising him up out of the void of the head. Okay, and these are just some of my little cosmic uh, plexiglass paintings up here. They're a little bit hard to see, but we'll get the light. And this is a plex double plexiglass that would look real good behind a, uh, uh, a fish tank. If you had an aquarium about that size, you put that behind there with the light shining in there, it would give it a real three-dimensional look. So let's go in my house now. I'll show you some of my uh, black light paintings. I do a lot of black light paintings. That's what I'm working on now. Let's just go on through here a little bit. This is a small one I did in California called California Trees. This is one sort of like I started, I did a Jackson Pollock thing for a while, and that's that's one uh, that had some good depth to it for that kind of painting. And this is a series of three etchings, supernova. The same plate, I just uh, wiped it, I uh, inked it and wiped it differently to make it look like the different stages of an exploding nova. Okay, and this is the one that people like, and I've done about four or five of these. This uh, season mandala, or circle of the seasons, as some people call it. It's a different season. I go around and I do an image against the star field. And this is one of those Jackson Pollock type, type ones that's called hidden gold. And if you get in the right position and move, gold back in the background on the back side of it shines through that you don't see normally. Okay, and this is one, a primitive painting of uh, me, Taylor Foss, Karen Foss, and George Wardlaw playing music a long time ago. And this is uh, Jan Cermak from Holland and Czechoslovakia that did this one. Here's one I'm working on. I'm not quite finished, but I'm getting pretty close to finished. The woodpeckers got the small red-headed woodpecker and two pileated or pileated woodpeckers. I've just got to add a little more detail on the trunk, and that one will be finished. Okay, here's a poster of <laughs> me and my neighbor Taylor Foss as musicians. We were Shaggy Bark, or we are Shaggy Bark, a band. And this is uh, one I did a long time ago of Big Sur, California. And this is uh, a Siesta Key, Florida. And these small ones are older ones. Some of these were made back in the early 70s. These small ones, like, you know, that size. And uh, they're small ones over here I'll show you too. Okay, now, and these are ones I did in college in an arts and crafts class, Nate Cole. And I did this in college in the 80s too. It was a still life that the professor set up. This is a wind sock, and he just set all of it up. And, he said you could do part of it or all of it, and I just about did all of it. This one here is a newer one. It's uh, 
called a vibration collector. Uh, sort of like a dream collector, except it collects vibrations. And I try to put as much good vibrations into it as I can, and as I can. And, uh, and uh, I take it to uh, places that where it collects, you know, like uh, where I have a show, and it will collect the vibrations of the people there at the show. And then it'll give them back to you later, like a basket. These are some of the more cosmic ones on plexiglass. The planets on these are made from, uh, let me show you real fast. What I do is I use these for my little pallets, these little plastic like peanut uh, covers, peanut uh, bar covers, lids, yeah. I use those for my uh, pallet. And then I peel it off the pallet, you know, and I get these uh, thick acrylic plants, you know, that sometimes you can see through them, and they glow in ultraviolet light also. So that's what these planets are, and I glue them on there on the front and the back, and then I paint and put the star fields. These small ones here, like the one right above the lamp, and this one here, the sunset, are from the 1970s, the early 1970s when I first started painting. I kept a lot of them. That's the reason I have so many paintings. I kept a body of art all through my art career just as a uh, primitive folk artist which this was from these from these smaller ones that you see like that one way up there past that fan I did that in Canada in 1972 and, and some of these I did in California in 71 73 right in there oh, I can and, uh, do it. but then I got up I went to college and I, this is one of the first ones I did in college in the 1980s I was a primitive artist until the 80s and I went to college I did this one in college in the 80s, uh, it's called uh, Alien Flowers. And then the, and the windows are some of my plexiglass paintings. Some of them I tried to copy uh, stained glass. And then some of them I actually used the techniques I learned in etching to make the paintings, like scratching through things like that and, and putting real plants uh, uh, in the paint and then picking them up and then leaving an impression. You do that with soft ground etchings too, and I'll show you some of my etchings in a minute. They gave me that idea. Okay, and these are just more vibration collectors. Okay, now I'm going to turn on my black light. And it's, it's daylight, so you don't see the black light like you should, but you get a little bit of an idea of what I'm doing here with my black light. Situation. I really enjoy using black light. And I, I paint with my black light on so I know what I'm doing. This is a cosmic painting that I'm doing. I still got to put the stars in. Okay, here's one I'm working on of a butterfly. That's black light butterfly. Whoa! <laughs> still working on this. Black light! Black light! And let's see. Uh, this is a, one that's a little bit different. And it looks good in regular light too, see? And then when you put it in black light, it changes. A lot of these are like that. And let's see, here's one of the flying saucers. A couple of flying saucers in black light. Keep your kids playing. And let's see, I want to do this one. This is one of the. Uh, Actually, this one's not so much black light as it is a window painting, like stained glass painting. And it's a double painting too. In the daylight, you know, it's one painting. And then when you put it in a window, it changes completely. And it's a, it's a painting of uh, crystal bridges. And this is a regular canvas painting that I'm working on. It's not finished yet of crystal bridges from up top, looking down. This is Natural Unity, uh, a mixed media. It's uh, acrylic, it's uh, on plexiglass and wood and paper mache. So it's a variety of different things. It's three, it's uh, three dimensional, you know, paper mache in the 3Ds bring that out and I try to get as much depth as I can. These are small uh, cement sculptures. I'm also a stonemason, if you see, you'll see if you visit my website. 
and I use the extra mortar to I put it in a box, let it set up a while, and then I have about an hour or two that I can work on it. And I make these small sculptures, and then I paint on them. Here's a couple of uh, herons that I did. And actually, those are pretty, uh, I put some of them in people's houses. Like, uh, I, I do rock work, and I lay those in just like a rock. And people seem to really enjoy that, to have a, a sculpted heron or a sculpted tree in their rock work. Knothead painting that I'm working on. Knotheads and black eyes. And I've got one over here. I'm going to show you real fast before we go outside. These are not finished yet, but I think they're going to be pretty good when I do have my black light show. These are the first knothead, the knothead black light paintings that I've done. This is the overflow of my art when I get really painting. I bring them in here and I've got this full. I'm going to have to build another art shed, I think. But you can see some of my window paintings here. They, it's a good place to show uh, some of my cosmic window paintings that are sort of like stained glass paintings. Up here. And I sell quite a few of these window, I call them window paintings, but people seem to enjoy them because they're a little bit different, you know, and I do quite a variety of different things. Okay, and then up here too, I have a very large collection of uh, ultraviolet blacklight paintings. But before I get into showing you those, I want to show you these here. These are door paintings. I actually get uh, bifolding closet doors and take them apart and I paint on each one of them uh, a long panoramic painting. And, uh, and actually people seem to like these too, even though they're a little big. And these are just regular paintings up here. This is my baptism when I was 10 years old. I got baptized in Georgia in the creek and uh, Preacher Wilmer was the uh, preacher. He was a uh, basketball player from Vanderbilt who turned into a Methodist preacher and we were his first they sent him out to the hillbilly church most hillbilly Methodist church they could find and uh, and he Wait. baptized us I was just 10 but I knew a lot and he said well, you, you know enough to be baptized he asked me a bunch of questions I knew more than my granddad Charlie Johnson who was a moonshiner and my older cousin Dora Mark and uh, so they, he baptized me even though I was just 10 got this little black light on it although it's daylight you can't really see them the way they really are but you can get an idea of what they are and I'm going to show you this collection I have four here that are uh, my impression of artificial intelligence it's artificial intelligence number one or number two uh, and number three and number four let's see which one's number one I think this is number one Okay, and this one was number two, artificial intelligence, number two. And this is artificial intelligence number three. And the final one is artificial intelligence number four. And it has a little, little brain up here on top. And here's some more black light. I like this one. And this is one representing the uh, solar system. This is the sun, this is Mercury, no, that's Venus, this is Earth and the Moon, Mars, Jupiter with his satellites, and Saturn, sort of just stylized. Okay, I'm not going to show my trunk. Damn, I well. This isn't black light, but it's a political statement. I painted this right after Trump got elected. And it's him and his Trump boat. That's Trump, and they're painting. They're doing his name up in the sky, sky riding. He said, "Look up there in the sky." 
and if people hear a waterfall up ahead and they're, they're jump, jumping off the boat <laughs> and it's going to come down here and go down this waterfall and at the bottom of the waterfall is the wreck of the Nixon boat. <laughs> okay, black light that glows in black light. Some bugs. Another one different kinds of bugs. Lately, the ones that most people are interested in of my paintings are the uh, ones that are of. Uh, uh, cosmic black light paintings. I do these, these are on plywood. You're going to have a whole bunch of these like this. I need to, to get rid of some of them. <laughs> but I enjoy doing black light. Here's one where I was trying to copy a uh, Van Gogh a little bit for the story story night. There's another one like that when I got into that mode. And uh, getting close to the end. This is uh, the skull of Jackson Pollock. plexiglass and these are not window panes these are just to put on the wall and uh, this is the one I was talking about that people tend to like it's a collection of planets planets and planetoids And the first paintings I did of the family. down to my house again. These are paintings that I did in tribute to, to John Gailey, the artist from the Osho, who does paintings similar to this. And I did these uh, sort of in tribute to John Gailey. I planted out in space that people visit on their way to other planets. It's like a lot of people visit there and just take a little vacation there on their long trip through space. And that's the reason it's called an oasis. Okay, these are some of my etchings that I do on zinc plates. Uh, I etch them with acid and then I ink them and wipe them and I run them through an the etching press that I have in here. This is called Stage 5. It's at Winfield, Kansas. Okay, and this is a meteor shower. This is the trees, birds, and squirrels. This is a close neighbors, it's called. It's a planet of Jupiter with aliens on it. This is called Siesta Key, Sunday Sunrise. Angel number two, it's the second angel that I've done. This is Coneheads in Transit. This is Fools on the Road. This is Left Hanging Freak Flag. This is uh, Natural Unity. It's a, it's a takeoff on the painting, Natural Unity. I did, I did an etching like that too. This is called Ozark Nightfall. The stars are salt that are sprinkled on the plate. This is uh, Butterfly. And this is uh, Alien Rider. This one I did uh, on water. Actually, I, I put the asphalt and the tarry stuff on the water and put WD-40 and oil in it and swirled it around until it got interesting. And then I just picked that up off the water. And amazingly, it had this alien with a face. It had the horse. And it had, this is called Peaceful Village. And I have one similar to that called Camp, too. And this is Primitive Organisms. This is a blue heron. That's an older one. This is Winter Travelers, a Christmas one. This is called Singing Angel. This is a Madonna and Child. This is called Angel Number, the first angel I ever did, Angel Number One. And this is a Flying Geese. This is a Peace Flag. This one is uh, St. Francis of Assisi. It's just called St. Francis. There's another version of it. This one is... Uh, called monkey 
it's hard to figure out how I did that <laughs> as an etching. And this is an etched plate, just to show you. I have about 170 different etched plates, in this, mainly this size, but some larger ones like this. You get that pretty good? That I did of planets, you know, and I did it, uh, I painted some of them on, and some of them I glued on. But people really liked that one. Everybody wanted to buy that one from me. So I went ahead and did a few other ones, like this one is the one that I did later. It might not have turned, turned out quite as good. But it's got a three-dimensional look to it. And people seem to like them, so I keep doing these. And I'm going to do more of them. Thank you very much for looking at my artwork up here at my house. And check out my website, edsartetc.com.